Good morning, friends. Hello again. It's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. I'm very happy to see you, and I'm really excited that I think I can see the sun coming out today. The air is getting much, much cleaner. Are you excited? I'm so excited about that. You know, something else really special is some a birthday. Someone I know very well, one of my really good friends, turned six years old. Yeah, John. I'm talking about you. Happy birthday. Can my friend say happy to birthday, a happy birthday to John? Happy birthday, John. I'm so excited you're six years old. Humongous, way to go. John is one of my very hardworking friends, just like you and me. Are you guys ready to do some hard work so we can grow and learn? Yes, okay, that's fantastic news. Now, how are you guys doing? How are you doing today? Really good? And excited about the good weather too? That's awesome. Let's take a look at the calendar. What is today? What is the day of the week? Yeah, there are seven days of the week. What is today? Wednesday, that's right. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, tomorrow will be Saturday. Is that right? Today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Saturday? Uh, not quite. Tomorrow is what? Thursday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Or no? Wednesday. And how many months are in the year? 12 months, that's right. What month are we in right now? September, you got it. Now we moved forward one day to the 16th. And the year is 2020. Let's say the whole date together. Today is Wednesday, September 16, 2020. Awesome job, my friends. Let's sing our phonic song. Ready? One, two, three. Do you know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, a, a, a. Baby, baby, ba, ba, ba. Cookie, cookie, k, k, k. Dolly, dolly, d, d, d. Elbow, elbow, eh, eh, eh. Flower, flower. Garden, garden, g, g, g. Hammer, hammer. Igloo, igloo, eh, eh, eh. Jelly, jelly, j, j, j. Kitten, kitten, k, k, k. Lion, lion, oh, oh, oh. Monkey, monkey, mm, mm, mm. Necklace, necklace, mm, mm, mm. Ostrich, ostrich, ah, ah, ah. Pumpkin, pumpkin, p, p, p. Quarter, quarter, Qua, qua, qua. Rabbit, rabbit, er, er, er. Scissors, scissors, s, s, s. 
Tiger, tiger, t -t -t -t. undershirt, undershirt, up, up, up. Vacuum, vacuum, v, v, v. Window, window, wa, wa, wa. X-ray, X-ray, x, x, x. Yo, 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 ya, ya, ya. Zebra, zebra, z, z, z. Awesome job. Thank you for doing those phonics sounds with me. First thing on the agenda today, some language. Let's take a look at some ending sounds. And then we're going to use our movable alphabet. So, first, our ending sounds. I'm going to put my name up top, on the bottom, up top, on the line, that's right. And the date. These directions say, name the picture. Write the letter that each word ends in. So we're looking for the ending sounds. Now I see a picture of, what is that? A bed, a bed, that's right. When you say the word bed, what do you hear? What is that ending sound? Bed, d, 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 that's right. What letter makes that sound? D, bed, d, d. Let's write a D on the line, bed. Awesome, I'm gonna do one word on each page, okay? Let's do the next page here. Mmm, yummy. Some fruit. Do you like fruit? Me too. Now when you say the word fruit, what do you hear? What is that ending sound? What letter do I put on this line? Fruit. Fruit. T. Is it a D? Fruit? A T, thank you. Let's write a T on that line. This is fruit. Fruit. Awesome job. Let's take a look at our last page of ending sounds. And I see a car, a truck. What is that? A ship. It's a ship. That's right, a ship. When you say ship, what do you hear? What is that ending sound? Ship. P -p -p -p. A P. You got it. Let's write a P on the line. Ship. P. -p, -p. Okay, awesome, friends. Now, we also have our line paper and some pictures to cut out. Now Miss Kendra went ahead and cut out the pictures a wee bit early so that we could use our movable alphabet. Are you ready to do that with me today? I'm going to get mine all set up so I can see all the letters. I made two of each letter. We can make more. F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, 
Are you seeing these letters with me? P Q R S T U V W U X Y and Z. These are all the letters in our alphabet. So we have our pictures here and let's make these words and then we'll write them on the page. Now this, this girl, she's got some, she's having some feelings. What kind of feelings is she experiencing right now? Does she look happy? Yeah, a little angry or mad. Does she look mad? Yeah, she looks mad. Okay, let's think about the letters, the sounds in the word mad. What is that beginning sound? Mad. Mad. M. 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 M, that's right. And mad m a a a what letter makes that a sound is it a u m a a a no that does not work a a a thank you yes the a ma d d we're missing one more. Mad. D. d makes d. That's right. Mad. Let's write that word on the line. She is feeling mad. M-a-d. Mad. I'm going to put my things back where they belong and let's try another picture. Oh, it's not a polka, it's just a dot. A dot. How, what letters do we use to write dot? D, D, what is that first letter? D, D. A D, thank you. And what makes ah, dot, ah, ah, ah? Is that a letter I? That's D. Oh, we're looking for da, ah, ah. Oh, yes. Da, t, dot, dot. Letter T, thank you. D, A, T, dot, dot. Let's write dot on the line. D, A, T, D, A, T. Good job, everyone. Will you do one more word with me? And we'll finish the rest later. Awesome, I'm excited to do that with you. This here is a cap. Yeah, a cap, a cap. What is that beginning sound, cap? A C, thank you. And next we're looking for cap, a, a. Ah, what makes that ah? Mm-hmm. The letter A. Great job. And the ending sound, cap. P, p, p. You're very fast. Yes, that's a P. K, A. Let's write cap on the line. K, A, P. 
Three fingers to hold the pencil, right? Yeah, good job. Okay, let's clean up this work so that we can sing a song. Who's ready to sing a song with me? Everyone. Well, that is just what I was hoping for. So I'm going to pick up all of these letters so that they are ready for me to use again anytime. We've been doing lots of words with Miss Kendra. If you want to make even more words, even bigger words at home with your letters, well, that's an awesome idea. Come on, Jay. K L M You already knew your ABCs? I know. You guys are very smart. Let's tuck our chairs. Going to get ready to stand up and sing a song. All right, friends. Let's do it. Here we go. You ready? Okay. I've been practicing. Have you been practicing? You have? Well, it's going to be great. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Stand up, look around you. There's water, land, and air. Look, look, it's everywhere. Swim in the water. Swim, swim. Walking on land. Walk, walk. Fly it in the air. Swim it in the water. Swim, swim. Walking on land, walk, walk, fly it in the air. Look, look, it's everywhere. Now be seated in your chair. We'll learn about water, land, and air. We can't see air. It can be hot or cold. It can push things, that's what I'm told. Water is wet, the air pushes it around. The land absorbs the water when it touches the ground. Water is wet and land is dry. Air can't be seen, but it makes up the sky. It's all a big cycle. That's how they work together, making things grow and making the weather. Stand up, look around you. There's water, land, and air. Look, look. It's everywhere, swimming in the water, swim, swim, walking on the land, walk, walk, flying in the air, swim, swimming in the water, swim, swim, walking on land, walk, walk, flying in the air, flying in the air. Thank you so much for singing with me. I love singing with you. Now, will you come over and do some big numbers with me? Yeah? I'm really excited about that. Come on over here. I'm going to get my things and stay right here at the desk for me. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we have lots of numbers here. Do you remember seeing our work from Monday? You do? Yeah, I finished mine. Did you finish making your hundreds board? 
You did? Yeah. So when we look at this, we can see all of our numbers all the way. And when I am doing this, I am going to turn this over so that I can try remembering first. And when I need help, I will take a peek at my board. Let's write our name up top and the date. Fill in the missing numbers. So we got to think about what comes next. What number comes after? So I'm going to jump around and at home, we want to fill in all the numbers. So first question, what comes after number one? What am I going to write in this box? Number two. That's right. Now, can you tell me, think about what comes after 23? What goes here? What comes after 23? Twenty four. Let's write a twenty four in there. I'm going to jump around even further. I see the number. What number is this? Seventy eight. Yeah, what comes after seventy eight? Seventy eight. Seventy. Nine, seventy nine. Let's write seventy nine. I see all the numbers in this column end with a nine. What do you think comes after fifty eight? Yeah, fifty nine. And later, after we finish all of these numbers, we can use our hundreds board to double check. 78, I see 78. What comes after 78? We got it, it's 79. We're doing real good. Okay, let's keep going. And we will take a look at some two digit addition. Let's write our names up top. We'll do one of these together. And here I see 11 plus 6. Well these directions say solve the equation by adding the numbers together. And in these boxes we can make our own counters to help us add numbers together. This first one is 11 plus 6. So we have 11 hearts plus 6. How many hearts do we have all together? When we're adding, we're putting together. How many do we have all together? 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's right, we have seventeen. Really good job, my friends, and we can use hearts, dots, squares stickers, anything for counters, okay? And we can do these problems and we can try 
all different counters. Does that sound like a, a plan? Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna clean up my math work and I have some questions. We talked a lot about family, right? So who is in your family? Mom, dad, brother, sister, baby. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. And that is our immediate family. Who is in your extended family? What is extended family? You know who is in your extended family? Yeah, yeah, like grandma and grandpa. That's right. Like grandma and grandpa. Those are people who are in our extended family. And some more is our aunt and uncles. You have some aunts and uncles? Yeah, they're so fun, right? Aunts and uncles are the best. So fun. Now, let's think about one more. We have cousins. You have some cousins? Yeah? Do you get to play with your cousins or do they live so far? Some close and some far? Cool. Well, let's think about not only our extended family and how much we love them. What about those words in Spanish? So grandpa in Spanish is abuelo. 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 Okay, and will you try to say that one with me? Abuelo. Abuelo. Very good. And grandma in Spanish is abuela. Abuela. So here, under our pictures, we can write, grandma will write abuela. Abuela. And under the grandpa, we'll write grandpa in Spanish, abuelo. Abuelo. And we have our uncle. Uncle in Spanish is tío. Tío. Can you say that? Tío. That's right. And we'll write that here on this line. And underneath our aunt, we will write tía. In Spanish, aunt is tía. And then, cousins. For our cousins, we are gonna draw our own picture of our own cousins. And here on this line, we are gonna write the word cousins, okay? And if you want to try, we can write the Spanish word for cousins, which is primos. My primos, that's my cousins, primos. So on this worksheet, we have grandpa, aunt, grandma, cousins, and uncle. And on this side, abuela, grandma, tío, uncle, primos, cousins, abuelo, grandpa, and tia, auntie, auntie, aunt. <laughs> you know, those are the options, right? Yeah. And we are going to trace, and then we need to draw the line to from grandpa to abuelo and aunt to tia, right? Okay, you guys can do that? Awesome, and don't forget to color. Maybe you can color the pictures just like your own family looks. Yeah? Okay, awesome. Now, will my friends read a book with me? Yes? Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna tuck my chair 
put my materials away and grab a book. All right? Sounds good. So, the book I have with me today is called What do I what will I do if I can't tie my shoe? Do you tie your do you tie your shoes at home? Yeah, does it have laces like, like Miss Kendra with a bow? Yeah? Or does it just slip right in? No laces? Now mine has a laces, so I need to know how to tie my shoe. Do you know how to tie your shoe? Well, that's okay. We have lots of time to practice. Come on over here. What will I do if I can't tie my shoe? By Heidi Kilgrass, illustrated by Dana Regan. What will I do if I can't tie my shoe? My lace has come loose. My shoe is untied. I can't tie my lace. I've tried and I've tried. If you tried and tried and cannot do it, what could we do? Ask for help. Yeah, you guys have great ideas. Buckles are easy and zippers are too. I can button my buttons, but I can't tie my shoe. Did you guys button buttons in the Zoom? Yeah. He's thinking. I can slip on my slippers faster than fast. My sneakers with Velcro go on in a flash. But here I am, stuck with my shoelace untied. I can't run, I can't jump, and I can't go outside. If my lace is undone, I can't play. It's no fun. Hey, big brother, will you show me how it's done? Can we learn things from our brothers and sisters? Yeah. First, cross both ends. Slip one over, under, and through. Now pull them tight. Then here's what you do. Next, make a bunny ear. And then make another. Then wrap one around and pull it through. You try, little brother. I try and I try. I think I can do it. Look, it's a bow. There was nothing to it. I did it, I did it, I tied my own shoe. And this to the list. Add this to the list of the things I can do. Now I'm practically flying. I can race, twirl, and skip. With my shoelaces tied, I probably won't trip. Oops. Ah, still trip. Maybe... Maybe because he was uh, running inside? 
to go outside? Maybe. But that's okay, he's still having fun. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for reading that book with me. That was awesome. Now, I am really excited to see you later in our Zoom class and tomorrow, okay? So you guys have a great day and I'll see you later and tomorrow.